two. UTEP, Dana DeMel, last year, hit three wins. Three wins. They went three and five. However, two of those wins were against FCS teams by less than a touchdown, and the other was against hapless UL Monroe. And, who you want to talk about three wins that really don't make your program look any better. No. Nope. But it is better than losing to them. Yeah, I will true. say that. It, they don't get <laughs> lose the Monroe this year. The win total this year is two and a half. To go over was, is minus 125. I was just about to yep. say. Under is uh, minus 105. Uh, and, and the schedule is not easy. They open up at New Mexico State, which is good. I think they'll win that one. I think they'll win. They'll beat Bethune-Cookman. I was so just going to say Bethune-Cookman. I think they start 2-0, and oh, and then I think they lose 10 straight. I've got them going under, under. the 2.5. We see this yeah. exactly. Like, this is one of those things where you get a little rhythm. You're feeling good about yourself. You're two and zero, oh, and then you got to go play at Boise State, and then you get smoked <laughs> on the Smurf turf. You get a bye week to think about it. Then you go to New Mexico, which I actually think they could. That could be a closer game than we think. Yes, oh, especially that's, them that's, coming uh, off a bye. That's the coin flip game. That's, that's the, the swing game, game, right? Yeah, that's, that's the it. one. So I, I think, I, and I and I like the Lobos to win that one. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. Uh, the offense could be the best since Mike Price was there. I, yeah, I do um, think they're going to be. I think they're improving. Yeah. They, I mean, the day should But improve, they're going but, from awful to still pretty bad. Yes. It yes. takes a while. It does. I'm going to tell you, Rice is doing the right thing. Some of these schools go at Old Dominion. If you're a really bad football team, you have to take advantage of these transfers. Yes. I don't care. There's a thousand kids sitting in the transfer portal without a home. I promise you, all those guys that played in the SEC and the ACC and the Big Ten and the Big 12, they're all, the American that are transferring, they're all better than all the kids on your roster. Yeah. <laughs> they're just better than all the kids on your roster. Go get them. They yes. don't have a home. I tend to agree. I tend to agree. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.